Hi guys, this is JB from JB8 YouTube and today I'm just going to walk you through how to connect your DJI Spark controller to your phone. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, the uh, preferred way, um, as per DJI recommendation, is, is to use the Wi-Fi from your phone. Um, now some people have suggested that maybe uh, having your phone on with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff and trying to run your Spark through the controller through the Wi-Fi connection can sometimes create some interference so a lot of people are actually switching over to using the OTG cable which I have right here so again this this allows you to to connect up your phone to the controller um, with your Wi-Fi switched off on the phone so obviously there is still a Wi-Fi connection between your controller and the DJI we're not going to be affecting that now um, what I also wanted to do is to do a latency test and see whether we are getting any extra lag um, by running Wi-Fi um, and whether it is faster using the on-the-go uh, cable um, so that's something I will be investigating and showing you at the end of this video alright let's get started okay so here we have the spark what I'm going to do is switch it on so we touch the back and then hold it and that fires up the spark now you do the same thing with the controller so you press the button once and then you hold it down and that fires up the controller okay now what we're waiting for here before we do anything is we're waiting for a green light so I'm assuming you've bound your controller to the spark um, we're just waiting for that to connect up before we even fire up the phone okay there we go we've got a connection all right so we'll open this up now the phone doesn't necessarily have to be in the cradle for it to work okay now I'm just going to fire up the the app the DJI go for app okay what we want to do is make sure that our Wi-Fi is turned off which it is and then we need to do this um, we need to do this we need to connect up the phone first okay okay and then we need to connect up the OTG so this is the OTG cable we need to connect up the OTG side to the controller okay so it's got to be actually done in that order now you can have a look at the the screen here it's saying enter device but as soon as we go into device it's asking us to to turn on the Wi-Fi so we'll go back okay so what I'll do is I'll plug this in okay low battery warning now what you've noticed is the GoFly symbol has come on and it's connected and there's a picture of the controller there so you're actually ready to go in without the Wi-Fi being on okay and apparently that's supposed to give you a much better connection than trying to connect the phone to the controller with your Wi-Fi okay now we're going to go do a latency test and just see how much lag we actually have Okay, right, I'll just get that set up. We're trying to get the difference between that value there and this value here, and that will show us the lag. Okay, so I'm going to zoom up on that with the camera, and I'm going to start the clock. Okay. Okay, let's start that. Okay, we're just going to try this again with the Wi-Fi connection between the controller and the phone. Okay, so let's turn the spark on. Turn the controller on. 
All right, so we are connected here, and we are connected with Wi-Fi. I haven't plugged this OTG cable in. Okay, let's press the Go Fly, and we'll close that screen. Close that guy. Okay, again, I'm going to start this, and we're just going to get an idea of what kind of lag we're dealing with. It might not be anything, but it's just good to know. That's all. I'm going to zoom up. Okay, so there's one test we haven't done and we haven't checked how much lag we get between just a normal phone connection to the Spark without using the controller. Now there is a little bit of an issue because once you've bound to the controller, it's hard to get it to bind back to the phone. Uh, so let's hold it down for six seconds. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, so that's two beeps. Turn it back on. Yes, we have the spark. Okay, let's connect up to the spark. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick latency test using the phone. I've had to switch to an iPhone 6 because unfortunately the Android phone doesn't support 5.8 um, gigahertz. So, bit of an issue, yes. Um, all right, let's have a look. So we'll get this started and I'm just going to zoom in. Remember last um, last test we did with the remote control was about 0.3 of a second lag.